All right guys, so today I'm gonna to be blowing the lid off of one of the biggest scams in modern society. Spending $100,000 and four years of your life on a degree that's worth less than what you can get for free online right now. And look, I'm not here to sugarcoat this. Higher education has become a racket that's leaving students drowning in debt while teaching them outdated skills that employers don't even want. But here's the thing that nobody's telling you. Some of the world's best universities are giving away their most valuable courses completely free. No catches no free trials that need your credit card, no hidden fees, just pure high quality education that can actually help you get hired. And today I'm gonna to be breaking down 10 completely free university courses that are better than paid degrees in many cases. And I'll tell you exactly why each one of these beats the hell out of a lot of those expensive degrees. And if this video saves just one person from wasting their money on a useless degree, then I think it's worth it. So hit that like button and let's save somebody $100,000 in the next 20 minutes. All right, first up, we've got MIT's introduction to computer science through their open courseware platform. Now here's the deal. First of all, MIT is for absolute brainiacs and they charge $50,000 a year to attend in person, but they're giving away the exact same course materials, lectures, and assignments completely free online. Now this isn't some watered down bullshit. This is the real deal. The same foundational CS knowledge that powers the tech industry. And you'll learn algorithms, data structures, and computational thinking exactly how MIT students learn. And yes, you're not gonna get the teacher to give you feedback, but let's be real, you'd likely be in a classroom of 100 people anyway, so you're not gonna get that much one-on-one -on -one time in the first place. The big difference, you're not dropping $200,000 for the privilege. You're gonna be learning at your own pace, focusing on material that actually matters for your career. And I can tell you that employers in tech care way more more about what you can do than where your degree is from. So show them the projects that you built from this course and they won't give a damn if you never step foot on a college campus. Now this isn't just for coding nerds either. Understanding computational thinking is valuable across pretty much every industry now. And it's really the foundation of what you need before specializing in anything tech related from AI to game development. So opportunity score, I'm gonna give this one a solid nine out of 10. The only thing you're missing here is networking and of course a fancy piece of paper. Now, by the way, I have a master guide that's updated with the best free or extremely affordable resources online. We're talking certificates, certifications, and online courses. And you can check out that master guide in the description and the pinned comment below, and I'm always keeping it updated. So make sure you check it now and check it in the future. All right, course number two is Open Source Society University, specifically CS Path. Now, most people have never heard of this. It's the Open Source Society University's computer science path on GitHub. And this this isn't just one free course, it's an entire computer science degree curriculum built from the best free courses available online. So we're talking a complete education from intro programming all the way through advanced algorithms. And I would actually argue that this may be better than most paid CS degrees because it's constantly updated by actual developers who know what skills are needed in the real world. Not academics who used to be a computer programmer 20 years ago, right? When you pay $50,000 for a CS degree, half of what you're learning will be outdated by graduation. With OSSU, you're getting cutting edge material that evolves with the industry. Now, the other massive advantage is that you can skip all the general education requirements and other bullshit classes that most universities make you take just to squeeze more tuition out of you. I mean to make you a well-rounded, educated student, right? Every minute you spend learning is directly relevant to becoming a better developer. And that's the way it should be. So yeah, I'm gonna give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Obviously, computer science development, it's not gonna be for everyone, but this one is super valuable. Now, by the way, guys, if you're curious about how I've grown this YouTube channel and how I make these videos so entertaining yet educational, I am gonna be hosting a live YouTube training on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I basically just revealed the exact strategies that I used to grow my channel to multiple six figures per month. So that's another free training for you. Course number three is going to be Stanford Machine Learning. And this one is actually on YouTube. Now this is taught by the absolute giga chad Andrew Ng. He is one of the founders of Coursera and he's also one of the world's leading machine learning experts. So he is literally on the cutting edge of artificial intelligence, machine 
learning, and all that gigabrain stuff that you hear about. So he isn't just some random professor, right? He's one of the pioneers in this industry. And he's led AI teams at freaking Google. Now, most boot camps and even many university courses will teach you how to use machine learning libraries, but they skip over the mathematical foundations that help you actually understand what's happening under the hood. And that's where this course absolutely demolishes paid alternatives. Andrew Ng breaks down complex mathematical concepts in a way that's digestible without dumbing it down. And you'll understand the why behind machine learning, not just the how. And let me be crystal clear here. This deep understanding is what separates the $60,000 a year jobs from the $200,000 a year jobs, right? Anybody can import a library and call a function. The real value is knowing which algorithms to use and how to optimize them. So yeah, I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. The only downside is you will need to supplement this with more recent developments in deep learning, but the foundations here are rock solid. All right, the next course is the Yale Financial Markets course. So this is gonna be a little bit of change of pace. We're gonna be talking about finance and economics, not tech. Now this is available completely free on YouTube and it's taught by a Nobel Prize winning economist, Robert Schiller. And this is a perfect example of how free online education can actually be better than expensive alternatives. When you take a finance course at most universities, you're learning from professors who might be academically brilliant, but have zero real world experience. Robert Schiller, on the other hand, not only predicted the 2008 housing crisis, but he spent decades studying market behavior. And he brings insights that go far beyond textbook finance. And what I love about this course is that it doesn't just teach you the mechanics of financial markets. It gives you a deep understanding of why markets behave the way they do. And this psychological element is something that's usually missing from traditional finance or economic education. So whether you're looking to work in finance or you just wanna manage your own investments better, this course gives you an Ivy League quality education without the Ivy League price tag. So I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 and that's a very solid score by the way. The only reason I don't give it higher is just because I think a lot of people probably aren't gonna be interested in this or interested in going into a career path related to it. Now this video would not be complete without the next one on this list. This is an absolutely epic organization and that is Free Code Camp and it's their full curriculum. Now Free Code Camp or FCC offers a completely free comprehensive coding education that covers everything from basic HTML to advanced machine learning. But what makes it special is that it's entirely project based. You don't just learn the concepts, you immediately apply them by building real projects. And by the time you finish their curriculum, you'll have a portfolio of over 30 projects that demonstrate your skills to employers. And I can honestly say that most $10,000 boot camps are probably just repackaging the same information that you can get for free on free code camp, but just with a fancy marketing department and a hefty price tag. Now the other killer advantage of free code camp is the built in community. You've got forums, chat rooms, and meetups where you can connect with other learners. Sometimes you can find mentors and you can even get job referrals. Now the proof is in the pudding. Free code camp has helped thousands of people land developer jobs at companies like Microsoft, Google, Spotify, etc. And their curriculum is constantly updated to reflect current industry needs. These guys are freaking awesome. I've studied a ton of stuff on Free Code Camp. I'm not even sure how they're able to operate. I think they rely on donations and funding, but I'm not exaggerating when I say that this is legitimately better than many computer science degrees that cost $100,000. 10 out of 10. All right, so the next one might surprise you because this is a degree that I've dunked on many times on this channel, but I'm not talking about a degree here. I'm talking about Yale's Introduction to Psychology on YouTube. And you might be thinking, Shane, what the hell does psychology have to do with getting a job? And also, Shane, haven't you made fun of psychology degrees like a hundred times on this channel? Well, I actually think that psychology is a super valuable skill. Understanding human behavior is a superpower in virtually any field. Whether you're in marketing, management, design, or customer service, knowing what drives people's decisions gives you a massive advantage. I'm just not a fan of getting a college degree and paying $100,000 to learn it. With that being said, I think psychology is super interesting. And Yale's course covers everything from cognitive development and brain structure to social psychology and mental health. But unlike many psychology programs that focus purely on theory, this course consistently connects concepts to real world applications. And what makes this better than paid alternatives is that you're getting one of the world's best psychology courses without the fluff that universities add to stretch it into a four year degree. So I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. It's not directly vocational, it's right. It's not going to directly get you a job, but I think it's going to be useful 
successful in almost any career path or any career field. So just for those people out there that think I'm like a social sciences hater, you know, I hate all the social sciences, I don't. I think they're really cool, and here's an example of that. All right, next is going to be MIT Sloan School of Management Lectures. And this is available for free through MIT OpenCourseWare. So an MBA from MIT will set you back about $140,000 in tuition alone, not counting the two years of lost income and the extra costs associated with it. But guess what? Many of their best business courses are available completely free online. And these lectures cover everything from entrepreneurship and marketing to finance and operations management. So you're getting insights from these same professors who teach in one of the world's top business schools. And what makes this better than paid alternatives is that most business degrees are padded with unnecessary courses and outdated case studies. And with MIT's open courseware, you can focus specifically on topics that are relevant to your career goals. Now, the other advantage is that you can apply what you're learning to real business situations immediately rather than spending years in a classroom before putting knowledge into practice. So I really like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an opportunity score of nine out of 10. Obviously, this one would be better for the business-minded people and specifically people who want to be in either executive positions or management positions. All right, next is going to be Harvard's legendary CS50 curriculum. And there's a lot of different things they cover. They cover computer science in general, and they also cover things like game development. And this is available on their website and also on YouTube. So just as an example, the introduction to game development available free on YouTube is super valuable. Now, believe it or not, the gaming industry is now bigger than the film and music industries combined. And it generates over $180 billion a year annually. Yet most computer science programs barely touch on game development. They treat it as a niche rather than a major tech sector. And all of the Harvard CS50 courses, they're all amazing, but this course specifically teaches you game development fundamentals using industry standard tools like Unity and Lua. So you'll learn everything from basic 2D games, which by the way, those can sell like crazy, think Angry Birds, to more complex 3D environments. And what makes this better than specialized game development schools that charge $30,000 a year is you're learning the fundamentals that transfer across platforms and engines, not just specific tools that might be outdated in a few years. Plus, the projects you build throughout the course can go straight into your portfolio, giving you tangible evidence of your skills when applying for jobs. So yeah, this one's pretty niche, but Harvard CS50 in general is amazing. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Next is going to be the Web Security Academy, and this one is by Portswigger, which is a little bit of a weird name. But these are the people who created the Burp Suite, which is the industry standard web security testing tool. And cybersecurity is one of the few fields with basically zero unemployment. If you have cybersecurity skills, if you're good at cybersecurity skills, you can be the most like useless person in the world and you're still gonna get a job. Like, sorry, I, I don't mean to be like critical here, but you could literally be like the worst employee ever and they're still gonna employ you. And I'm actually thinking of specific people right when I'm saying this. Companies are literally desperate for security professionals and the skill gap is only widening. And most university cybersecurity programs are hopelessly outdated. They're teaching you concepts that were relevant like a decade ago, but they don't address modern threats. But Port Swigger's Web Security Academy, which is a bit of a mouthful, is different. It's created by actual security professionals who are on the front lines of detecting and preventing web vulnerabilities every single day. And the course includes interactive labs that simulate real world scenarios, allowing you to practice identifying and exploiting security flaws in a safe environment. And you'll learn everything from SQL injection and cross-site scripting to authentication vulnerabilities and access control. So what makes this better than paid alternatives? Well, one thing is you get to dip your toe in cybersecurity and see if it's for you. But also it's the hands-on nature of the training. You're not just reading about security concepts. You're actively practicing the skills that employers are looking for. So yeah, this one, I have to give it an opportunity score of nine out of 10. Cybersecurity professionals are in extremely high demand and this course provides practical skills that many degree programs lack. All right, next is an absolute OG. I'm sure probably 90% of people watching this video know about them and that is Khan Academy. They are some of the goats of free online education. They're absolutely amazing. They've probably helped just about everybody here study for like a math test or a chemistry test or a biology test at some point in the past. And this video would not be complete without them. And Khan Academy does just about everything. They do mathematics, chemistry, biology. They even touch on computer science and all kinds of different stuff like that. Now, of course, they're available for free on YouTube. They also have a website. And I only included them at the end because I think everybody knows about them already. But yeah, their teaching is very engaging. I love how they use the blackboard with the colored markers. And they just do a great job of explaining things. So I'm gonna give them a score of 9.5 out of 10. All right, guys, make sure you check out that master list of resources. It has 
all of my biggest recommendations because obviously, you know, the subject or the field that you want to go into may not have been in this video, but there's a ton of great recommendations down there. Now, one thing a lot of these courses do lack is an actual certificate at the end, and then also some brand name awareness and other help in actually landing the job. That is something that, for instance, the Google career certificates actually fill in pretty well. And those are very affordable, about $49 a month. If you're interested in hearing about the best Google career certificates, I actually made a tier list, which you can check out right here.